from Adam. Welcome in, guys. Welcome back to Maji the Priestess. Let me see if I should turn on this light. Yeah, that's probably better. Welcome. Okay, I'm going to let um, a few people come in so we can settle in and we can head to the message. Thank you for joining me today, Adam. I'm hearing the beginning, something about the beginning. So guys... Who's coming here to celebrate this 10K with me? All right. As I also have an important message here for you to cleanse your space and energy. Spirit is saying there's a new beginning that wants to come. Okay. Hey, Francesca. <laughs> and um, needs to cleanse their space. Okay. Maybe reorganize. But when I say cleanse, I meant spiritually cleanse. Okay. I will edit the title. It's just that there's only so much that could fit. Welcome, LeBum Show. Welcome, everybody. So you need to cleanse your space spiritually, like sage, right? Sage, Palo Santo. Um, get you some Florida water, right? You can burn um, rosemary. You can burn um cedar wood like a whole bunch of different herbs right but spirit is just recommending just keep it simple if you have blood sage sage um anything like that right the reason is because there's a brand new beginning coming towards you thank you Patrice, for your donation thank you so much i'm writing your name in my book thank you for reminding me so for anyone who would like to donate to my channel, okay, I do have a book of donations here that um, anyone who donates, I do res uh, reciprocate back and um, I pray for you, okay, in this book. I just put your name on here. So Patrice, thank you so much for your $5 donation. May the universe bring you many more blessings, okay, a thousand times more. I will pray for a miracle for you, okay, no worries, love. Thank you so much. Let's see, I saw a comment in here. Hey guys. Hey Pearly, Aurelius, Andrew, and sorry if I'm not reading you guys' names right. Ah, hold on. And Sharon. All right, thank you guys for coming here to celebrate and also to receive this message. Hi, Teresa. Don't forget to like this video, guys, please, and thank you. Let's keep the likes up, okay? So some of you guys may be uh, divine feminine, okay? Divine masculines here watching. I'm getting like it's time for you to cleanse your space, nurture yourself. There's a, there's a brand new beginning that wants to come in, okay? Hi, Nancy. There's a brand new beginning that wants to come in. So I feel like this is like... You need to cleanse your energy, meaning also the people, right? This is your physical temple as well as your house, which is your other temple, right? So make sure you guys like this video. I'm not going to be drinking this champagne tonight, okay? I won't open it tonight to celebrate this 10K because I thought I was going to do it sooner, this live, but I ended up having to um, do something outside, that was important and so here i am now <laughs> but um hopefully tomorrow we can sip a little champagne okay she said now or never life is now nah i can't my stomach thank you guys for liking the video literally i've had so much coffee for me to mix and stuff and plus it's like kind of late for me but i'm opening that shit up tomorrow so come through come through Lady Eve, come through. It's now or never, but <laughs> shit. I like that attitude though, right? It's now or never. So you can tip me um, through my cash app. I have the information on the description box or PayPal. It's um, Maji28, okay? So um, anyways... I don't know what's going on here, okay? Uh, I'm getting the Ten of Pentacles. So something about your family here, okay, or your money. 
Um, some of you guys may be pregnant, okay? Finding out that you're pregnant. I also feel like you need to work um, on your, or your space, okay? You need to work on your space because there is an energy around you that just needs to be cleansed, right? Like maybe you just are walking in the street where a lot of people are arguing, or maybe some of you guys are around the wrong energies, okay? And you just don't know it, but I'm hearing your ancestor spirit guys saying like, it's time for you to do a spiritual bath. It's time for you to sage your home, your room, okay? The closets, okay? It's time for you to mop spiritually um, your house and all this stuff. So that's what I'm hearing. I won't be here long for this message, but... I do see a new beginning coming, which I'm so much interested in. I feel like, right, like out with the old, in with the new. That's what I'm hearing. Out with the old, in with the new, right? We're just moving up, guys. So thank you for being here with me. I'm very, very grateful to all of you, okay? Because of you, I made this 10K, right? Um, we have been supporting each other, giving back, okay? Giving and receiving, which is dope. So thank you. You guys are my fam, my family, okay? We are family. We are a community here. And that's amazing that YouTube gets to give us that opportunity as well. So let's let's just count our blessings for a minute. Some of you guys could be earth signs here, okay? You could be Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. Thank you, Chris. Thank you. All right, let's see. Spirit, what is the message here for the collective in terms of cleansing their space and energy here? Let's see why, right? Let's get the tea. Okay, we have air energy as well, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, okay? So we have the Knight of Swords. Something something is rushing towards you, or maybe there's been a lot of conflict and people fighting, okay? The window is closed, and you guys were still able to hear that truck. I just want you to know that's how loud that was. My window is closed right now. <laughs> just saying, just saying. All right, so then we have the Six of Swords. Listen, this says boundaries, okay? This is why you need to cleanse your space and your energy. You have the Six of Swords telling you to set boundaries with the people here that um, you're kind of letting even in your mind, I'm getting, okay? Even just that you're meeting out of nowhere for some of you, okay? Thank you, Mongol Magic TV, for your $9.99. I'm writing your name down right now, Okay? I like that magic TV. Thank you for your likes, guys. All right. Lanier. Nice. Lanier. I hope I'm saying it correctly. Lanier. Spirit knows when you say the YouTube name sometimes, you know, it's like, it's just the energy thing. Spirit already knows. But yeah, I wrote both of your names here. Thank you so much for your donation. I appreciate it. Sending you love, light, and more abundance. But I will pray for a miracle for you, okay? So, hi, Sozan. Sanja, I mean. Listen, guys. Okay? You've been juggling too much. Spirit says you've been juggling too much. Okay? Thank you, my love, who donated $5 with the H's. I can't even know how to pronounce that. I'm sorry. Thank you for your $6 donation, love. Sending you love and light. Oh, this is Nancy. Hey, Nancy, I see you like that color a lot, huh? You like that color. Thank you, Francesca, for your donation, my love. Definitely writing you guys' names down here, okay? I'm praying for you, all right? I'm going to pray for a miracle for you guys because you're always so amazing to me, you know? All you guys have been amazing. You guys have been liking the videos, you know, sharing it, hopefully. Um, and I like that it's growing, right? Because we're just building a, a bigger community here around us. Whoa, something started melting here. That was crazy. Whoa, this is insane. Okay, so something about black smoke. Yes, look guys, you see this? Something started burning here out of nowhere. So be careful when you're burning whatever you're burning in your house, okay? I'm going to have to open the window. Give me one second. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> Hope you guys ain't mad at me. 
Okay, I'm putting all your names down. Intuitive The Truth TV. Thank you for your donation. So I have a lot of messages now that that happened, okay? Hold on. I just got to write it down. Thank you for your donation, love, okay? I have your name written down as well. Sending you lots of love and light. Yeah, I thought I was like seeing things with my third eye and it was this thing burning the entire time. So you guys need to be more careful. Ugh. So something about ashes, okay? Ashes, rebirth, you're rising. Yeah, you're the phoenix rising right now. Oh my goodness, did you guys, I wish you could see all of this small little black ashes falling out. It's like, ooh, hold on. That was very dangerous. I needed to be more careful. I was trying to celebrate and light a candle. It was like one of those small birthday candles. But um, yeah, do not leave a candle unattended, okay? Do not leave a candle unattended. Yeah, random shit been happening, right? Listen. Let me just spray some. There's so many ashes around my desk right now. It doesn't even look like my desk right now. Okay? So I'm getting something Scorpio energy here. You don't have to be a Scorpio. Let me just remove these cards real quick. I'm getting the phoenix is rising okay from the ashes the phoenix is rising from the ashes guys this is totally what i'm getting here for you okay this is what's happening and as you see it was like such a literal thing that you need to clean this is why you need to clean you see all this dark smoke it's like there's been old energy in your house or something like that you need to cleanse look at all this i'm like that was so weird and freaking dangerous I have a lot of cleaning to do after that. There's a whole bunch of ashes here. So clean those old spaces, old corners. Like I said, some of you guys are really rising here. Thank you everyone for your donation, okay? I wrote your names down. May the universe bless you a thousand times more, okay? <clears throat> Thank you to those who also donate on my cash app because... You know, um, I can access that money faster than um, the YouTube thing. It takes months to get that one. But that's still cool. I'm not judging you guys, okay? Whatever you can give to me is, of course, freaking amazing. But listen, I'm still tripping about this ash thing that just happened. All right? I'm also getting something about black salt. Get some black salt, Okay? And put it on the four corners of your of your house with the intention to break away any hexes, curses. Okay, so I'm getting someone is doing spell work. Point blank period. You're seeing it. You're seeing it. I'm going to have to sage after this. Yeah, look at the fool on the bottom. Aries energy. You guys are stepping into something new here that requires a leap of faith. And I feel like, I don't know. You may feel like you're between two worlds right now. Because you're stepping into, um, you're stepping from a dark uh, um, time in your life where things were crowded and kind of clouded to now wearing your crown, right? Where you will see clear. So something about that, like you're going to see clear. That's why you need to cleanse your energy and your space. Maybe someone has been trying to um, block your third eye. Okay, I am going to go into the cards, but I'm just like in freaking shock at this. I am in shock. So you could be a fire sign watching okay but just be careful with what you're lighting in your house be careful leaving something on the tenant as well i'm also getting like um there might be an item that you still may be holding to that you have to completely burn you understand i'm also getting like there's an item that you have in your house i don't know if it's like cursed or something someone gave it to you or this is someone like, um, let's say an ex, like you still may have an item from this ex. That's still lingering energy if you're really trying to move away from this person. There's some kind of energy that you just have to burn, okay? Just let it burn is what I'm hearing. But I'm also getting the phoenix rising after the burning. So yeah, let's get into the cards. I still have little a little bit of ashes falling in. Like what the freak, right? All right, <clears throat> we have the chariot, cancer energy here. You, some of you guys may have to make a decision here. It's like movement. You need to make movement. Yeah, there's stagnant energy 
in your house and in your some of you guys' chakra or in your energetic fields. Okay, it's like you want if you want to make forward movement here, you need to cleanse this space. But I do see that you guys are moving forward. Something wants to come in, but you need to you need to get rid of some energy here. Some of you guys may be going through a spiritual awakening at this time. Okay, we have yeah, the seven of cups, guys. The seven of cups. This says choices. Okay, when you have many choices, what happens? You don't know what to choose, which then what happens? You feel confused, okay? So there's something about it being foggy, okay? Something is just foggy, like this freaking ashes deer that just happened. You're, you're moving forward to places where you're going to have a lot of choices. But I feel like you need to cleanse in the sense, like spiritually, physically, right? In all those ways in order to attract this but there is one particular cup right that will fulfill you here right but i feel like right now maybe you guys have been kind of fantasizing more than moving forward this is because there's some yeah the lovers okay maybe there's someone you don't want to let go oh okay for some of you guys listen you need to cleanse your energy and your space because a love wants to come in or come back with the ace of pentacles this this definitely gives me something lucky there's a lucky passion coming towards you. There's someone moving forward, moving towards you. This person could literally live across the world or just across your house or around your town. It doesn't matter. I see someone driving. I'm getting Taurus energy now, Gemini. But this is like, yeah, I'm also getting a lucky choice, okay? It's like if you have felt indecisive about of choices of a lover if you already met this person it's due to the fact that you haven't let go of someone from the past or you haven't cleansed a certain thing that's in your house that's still in the past energy did i just get a new a new donation hold on okay just want to make sure i didn't miss any of you guys thank you so much everyone that's joining here tell me about this ace of pentacles passion what else yeah i told you taurus energy the hierophant the Hierophant, okay? It says knowledge. You guys are very knowledgeable. You're acquiring more knowledge. It's like you're ascending. So this is why you need to get rid of this old energy in order to ascend. Some of you guys are gurus, masters, or meant to be shamans and healers in one way or another, light workers, right? You have very much extensive knowledge here. But um, yeah, something about cleaning your, your crown chakra, okay? It's like in order to get more downloads and illumination, you need to cleanse your uh, crown chakra. Yeah, we have five of swords, conflict, okay? So you guys, someone is in conflict here. I don't know if it's this lover for some of you, okay? Um, maybe there's a certain passion that's moving towards you. You've met this person or not, and there's kind of been confusion um, and kind of like an indecisive, okay? But I do see an opportunity However, with the Five of Swords, it could be you that is in conflict right now. And it's due to the fact that there's a lot of energy and awakening happening within you. I'm also getting like it's going to be hard for you to receive downloads and knowledge and also intake it. If you're always in conflict here, something inside of you or outside of you is causing drama and kind of like maybe like competition right something like that let's clarify the five of swords i don't know if it's this lover or you yeah i'm getting some some someone here needs to be more playful you're being too serious clarify conflict oh yes the high priestess there we go right empowerment intuition pisces energy you guys read tarot you guys do some sort of divination here right there's a hidden knowledge that you have yeah, Spirit says you have hidden knowledge. Five of Wands, Five of Conflict. Okay. Death on the bottom. Scorpio. Look, it says rebirth. I told you. It says rebirth. Guys, hold on. I just wish my lighting was better. So I do apologize about the lighting quality here at the moment, okay? But look, if you guys see all this fire, was this not what I just showed you? If you go to the beginning of the video, what was going on? And it says rebirth, right? That's the phoenix. And this is Scorpio, the death card. Someone is trying to cause a fire, but I also feel like there's a tremendous change occurring inside of you. And for some, it's outside of you. This is just your energy. It's like you're rising. Something ended or something is, is coming to an end or needs to come to an end. 
this is also why it's you need to cleanse your energy. But what I'm getting here is so many downloads. So I'm just going to want to stick with one kind of main story here. I'm seeing 5-5. Five, five. So you could be seeing 5-5-5. Five, five, five. And right now we have 3-3-3-3. Three, 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 three. Four threes in the house. All right? We have goddesses who donated. Thank you so much. No, goddesses. Goddesses. Sorry. Okay. Thank you so much for your donation, love. Goddesses L. All right? Many blessings to you. All right? We got your name down, love. I will be praying for a miracle for you too. Look, friendship. Okay, so I feel like you may have some trouble with your friends or for some of you with a husband, with there's the higher fin. For others of you, this could be family members. But there's some type of dispute, conflict, um, as well as, um, yeah, someone here just, I'm picking up someone here, you intuitively know someone here doesn't like you. And they're always battling you, um, competing with you, okay, something like that. There's 555, five, five, so that also means you could be seeing that number because there's tremendous change coming, right? There's a brand new lucky beginning, Ace of Pentacles. You, you are moving, okay? Some of you guys are literally moving, but some of you are spiritually moving. I'm getting something like you are a high priestess and you have a lot of hidden knowledge, but there's so many conflict around you or jealous people. We will clarify this with other cards. Yeah, I'm going to clarify it with this. Okay, I'm, yeah, give me a second. Then we have the King of Wands. Okay, so that's Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. Take action. Take action right now, guys. Okay? If, if I don't know what time it is while you're doing this, so let's say it's morning while you're watching this, cleanse your house right now. It's afternoon, cleanse your house right now. Take action. You need to take action right now. I'm also getting like someone will take action towards you. But there's still a lot of conflict here, jealousy, and opposition. And we have the two of pentacles, ambition. Okay, ambition. And this also just gives me instability, like juggling a lot. So someone here is juggling too much. I don't know if this is you or someone around you, right? Because this is how energy works. Um, someone here is, is juggling too much or being too ambitious. Five of pentacles on the bottom. Five, five, five. Can't make it up. That's another five. Big changes are coming here. Big changes. Somebody feels left out in the cold. I will switch decks now. Oh, yeah. Amen. See, you got you got a headache that's gone. Look, there's new adventures, guys. There's new fresh energy that wants to come in. There's a new passion. For some of you guys, you're still stuck on old lovers and hanging on to that energy energetically. You need to cut the soul ties, okay? You need to get rid of that item that you may still hold or however way that would mean to you. But there's a new passion. For some of you, it's just a brand new adventure, brand new exciting beginning. For others of you with the lovers, okay, I do see there's a brand new passion that wants to come in. But you need to get rid of something that no longer, that causes you uh, friction. Here, I see friction. This is not friendship, right? I'm getting hater, hater energy. But you're getting recognized one way or another, okay? You are getting recognized with the Three of Pentacles. There could be a certain collaboration coming towards you. But let me put that card down and clarify. Well, I'll clarify with these and I'll clarify with these. Hi, Kim Jones. So you cleanse your space with, um, like I was saying, if you go back to the video, you use some sage, right? Cleanse the room, your house, the closets, the windows. Open them, right, and cleanse it. You can use Florida water to clean your windows and spray the spaces, your pillowcases, things like that. Um, you can use it to mop as well, right? You can do a, to cleanse yourself, your temple, you can do a spiritual bath. So you add um, some Epsom. So I actually, let me show you what I bought today. One second. Here it is. All right. <laughs> so um, literally, this is what you could use to cleanse your space spirit wants me to show you i just went to tj maxx right and this is lavender and sage bath salt okay this is a bath salt right this is salt and it has rose petals 
lavender, sage. So you can add this. I don't know if you guys can see it well. Right? Or you can just buy the salt separately and add the herbs yourself. You know, you can get this on Etsy. You can go to the store at TJ Maxx. You can get this on um, Amazon, really anywhere. This is from the uh, Hello Botanical. Okay, so it looks like this. And guys, it was affordable, seven, um, $7.99. And it's amazing. It's amazing. It has, let me tell you what it has real quick. Like, so you can actually, like, Spirit is kind of telling me, like, it's time to nurture yourself, right? And do a very nice mm -hmm. bath. Don't rush it or something. Add the things that you like so you can remove this energy. It has sea salt, magnesium, um, coconut oil, glycerin, avocado oil, lavender, okay? So it's all natural. And then you just add it to your bath, right? So I'm taking my spiritual bath, shit, you know, because you, you know, especially for the work that I do, I always have to be cleansing my energy. But um, yeah, there's a brand new beginning and new passion, okay? New creativity, new adventures that want to come in, that want to leave this period of confusion in your life, okay? Luck wants to come in, but you need to refresh this energy, all right? Yeah, and I'll also show you guys, I just, I just saw this today too. I'm showing you my deodorant. Yes, my deodorant, I'll tell you why. This deodorant is by um, Humble, okay? The brand Humble. But this is made with Palo Santo, which is used to cleanse space and frankincense. 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 Yeah. And Palo Santo. And it's vegan and it's sensitive free. So, like, that's dope. I just found this and it smells amazing, too. Mm, it smells amazing. And they have different kind of um flavors right if that's how you say it or whatever but this is palo santo like that's dope with frankincense like you know so just kind of use maybe you're being led and and called to use products that are more natural for your body so you can really cleanse it right um it's it's important guys spirit is guiding me it's important for you to check the back of the items when you buy them hi demetrius okay from here because it's not all the products that or the ingredients that are in your products are good for your body okay especially if you're awakening if you're a high priestess who's getting a lot of knowledge and downloads naturally you don't even have to have a youtube but some of you do here watching or you're thinking about one okay i'm getting led to like tell you like okay start buying you know more natural right sensitive free vegan kind of things like that maybe even for your diet you need to cleanse your energy. That's how you cleanse your energy, right? You eat better, you detox. I'm getting something about drinking green tea, herbal tea. Um, if you have like a lot of memory, like you can't concentrate and you're kind of forgetful, drinking rosemary tea will help you with your memory. I am not kidding. Drink one tea and you will remember a lot. I'm telling you, it's powerful. So make sure you don't take a lot, okay? It's just, it's just one cup, a couple leaves, right? I love that tea, okay? To relax, to cleanse your energy, drink some chamomile tea, right? To relax. Drink your favorite tea, but it's also better to do the ones that are just natural, right? You just put the herbs and you boil them. Basil tea, I like to do basil tea, thyme tea, okay? Look, joyfulness, right? You guys are celebrating something. I feel like you're in the mingle too much. You're also collecting. If you've been hanging out with a lot of people, Thank you so much, Douglas. If you've been hanging out with a lot of people, going out, some of you partying, no judgment. It's like you're absorbing a lot of people's energies in the groups that you are. But I also getting like some of you guys may go um on a on an adventure with three people, you and two other people. That's for someone out there. Could be your friends, okay? This is the uh, emperor, okay? So we have an Aries emperor here who is feeling despair. So some of you guys, if you feel like negative energy in your room or like you feel very sad in there, um, yeah, this is because, look, thief fell on the floor. <coughs> so that's interesting. This is why you need to cleanse your space, okay? Some people have even entered your room and you don't even know. Thieves, okay? Thieves. This could be spirits or actual people that have tried to enter your room, your house. I don't know your living situation, but... Um, I'm telling you, this is for someone out there. 
somebody kind of like goes into your room. This is why you need to continue staging. There's a thief here. We'll get more info on this thief, your spirit. Whoa. Okay, I'm getting a dog. Okay, your dog may be barking at times. And this is because a thief has tried to get in the house. Others of you, I'm getting like this person may act like they're faithful, but they're the total opposite. They're the ones stealing from you. Yeah, falseness. Falseness. Look at the card. It says falseness. A, a two-face. This could be a feminine for some of you, a masculine. Take what resonates. But look, so we have a two-face here. Somebody falses in your energy. Yeah, this is why I keep getting this conflict energy. They're, they're, you're, oh, gosh. For some of you, it could be an old woman here. It could be your grandmother, somebody's mother-in-law, a mother. I don't know. But um, I see somebody's very, like, jealous and tries to kind of copy you. Maybe this is why you need to cleanse your energy because of this evil eye. Yeah, doctor. If you have gone to the doctor, maybe like even um uh, to see a therapist, to see anything with the mind, like your mental health. For some of you, it's your physical health, like your body. You went to the doctor. Okay, it's, it's because of these people attacking you. Okay, so this is why you need to be careful. If you haven't been feeling well, this is because you, hadn't, you need to cleanse your energy. Okay, if, if it feels heavy in your house, I'm also hearing burn it all down. I don't know. Some of you guys have a lot like of, of, I don't know, you have a lot of things from your past that is just ending. It's just ending. You need to let them all go. You're, you're, you're changed. You're becoming new. Some people may not like it. You know, look, see, look at this person on their, on their bed here, sick. So some of you guys, if you've been feeling sick, you need to cleanse your energy. Or if there's been someone sick in your house that stayed over, you need to cleanse that bed. You need to cleanse that room. Look, something about your room. If it's making you sick, like I said, physically or mentally, you need to get rid of it. I'm also getting something about using a humidifier. So if you have one of those humidifiers that will have, um, yeah, I bought a whole bunch of essential oils too. But, you know, use lavender oil. It's great for cleansing. Um, peppermint. Um, what else? What else? Like I said, frankincense. Um, rose oil. Just a whole bunch. Oh, yeah, I have some here. Yeah, this is the lavender and this is peppermint. So just kind of use this and put it in an infuser to cleanse the air. I'm getting something about like the air needs to be purified. Your sheets, your bed sheets under your bed. Yeah, something under your bed. So make sure you cleanse over under your bed. Misfortune. Do you see that fire again? You see that fire there, guys? misfortune it's like somebody's trying to cause a tower moment in your life like i didn't i just say burn it all down look what's happening to this house i literally just finished saying burn it all down something is coming to an end or something i don't know what it is but you know you guys are rising up right you guys are rising up like a phoenix it's like somebody's trying to cause a tower moment something about your house it's like you need to get rid of something in this house some of you guys could have already lost your house. Something tragic could have happened to you. Maybe you were you had a, a dear a near death experience because someone here. I'm also getting dr drunk driving for some of you. That's for someone out there. Somebody literally right tried to bring that into your life. Let's see. What is this five of ones? Tell me about this five five five. Fire five 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 five. Yeah, get ready for the changes. Look, I told you, you need to make a decision here. You need to make a decision about something that's causing you conflict and battle. Whether this is an inner battle or outside with the people that you're always fighting with. What's this tower, spirit? What's the tower? Their spells backfire. That's the fucking tower. I told you, someone here is really jealous and it's fake. This person is a two-faced. They're not who you think you are, okay? Someone here has a cat and a dog, or you may have a dog and this person has a cat, or I'm getting like you are loyal and this person is not who you think they are. They're actually not loyal. And so their spells backfire. Somebody has been doing spells on your house. This is why you need to burn something, okay? I don't know, but use, use a fire. You could be a fire sign, but just use fire to cleanse, right? Like burning sage, Make sure you connect to the element of fire to cleanse, right? The air, 
right? You're using air, the smoke, but you're also lighting this up, which is fire. Some of you guys, if you have an old item from an ex or someone who was very toxic in your life, burn that shit up and get rid of it, okay? It's time to let go. So their spells have backfired. Someone here is doing spell work on you, but spirit didn't let it touch you, okay? It backfired, period. Some of you guys could have already withdrawn your energy. Yes, look at this thing. I told you. Look, it says, let go of this place or thing. It says, let go of this person, place, or thing. Some of you guys need to move. I'm hearing you need to move, okay? Um, if there's something in your life that is crumbling down, a friendship, a relationship, you need to let it go. This could be the person that could be doing this spell, okay? You need to let go of a person, place, or a thing. Apply it to how it resonates. What I feel like for some of you is a person, right? Because they have, they have been doing spell work on you. Trying to cause you misery. Right? Misfortune in your life. Yes. Ha. That's so funny. Look. Ill hater alert. Somebody's giving you the evil eye here. Right? We have a hater here. We have a thief. who Somebody wants what you have. Your, your talents, your money, your energy. I don't know. Right? This person is a thief. And like I said, if somebody has access, access to get into your house, your door, or your office, this could be somebody at work coming into your office. Also, I'm getting something about cleansing your office, okay? It's not just if you work in an office or wherever you work, that's also the space you need to cleanse, okay? Because some of your coworkers are haters here. We got hater alert. I told you somebody was freaking doing this. I felt it. I was like, whoa, somebody is in literally competition with you. They're fighting in their head. Look, loyalty. These are people that you have been loyal to. And they are not been loyal to you, okay? Clarify this hater alert. Yes, look, go out for fresh air. Something about you need to cleanse the fresh air of the room. It hasn't, it ha it, there's something about the scent. Your house may have a weird scent due to this witchcraft, okay? It may, it may smell like something is burning at times for some of you. But listen, you need to go out and get fresh air. But I'm also hearing like you need to air out, open windows, air it out or something. Right? Some of you guys could be wearing a lot of black lately. Or spirit is calling you to wear a lot of black. Because notice she's wearing this black coat cloak. Okay? Earth signs, you could be, or this hater. Okay? Earth sign, Virgo Capricorn. Justice Libra, okay? Look, I'm telling you, did their spells not backfire, guys? Look, their spells backfired. You're getting justice. The scales are balanced, okay? They try to cause an imbalance in your life, but it's the total opposite. Look, we also have this card coming out. Some of you guys are spiritual healers here. Or you're being called to be a spiritual healer. Because it's like you are of the light and these people are of the darkness. Look. You're like, you love people. You're very loving. Look, somebody is gossiping about you here, guys. All right, make sure you check out the other lives. That They always say messages like this. Unfortunately, this energy keeps coming up and it just comes up, you know? So, oh, I'm also getting, okay, some of you guys could have purchased a black tourmaline necklace today or you need to purchase this. Okay, someone is gossiping about you. They 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 hating, they competing. I feel like you guys are healers. You are very intuitive and they hate that. They want that gift. They want they want your knowledge. They want your secret knowledge. I'm also hearing your Akashic records. These people try to tap into your Akashic records if you understand what I'm saying. Anything else? Look, some of you guys are meant to be the first millionaire in your family, okay? You're the one who is breaking general curses. So this is why they're hating. Some of you guys could already be the first millionaire in your family watching this. And this is why they're hating. Something about your money, the status, who you are or who you're going to be. You're a threat to them. You're a threat. You have the possibility to create this million dollar because you're very smart. Like I said, you have a lot of knowledge, and plus, you have a lot of secret knowledge. You, you have a great intuition. Like, you connect the knowledge and the logic with your intuition. You, you're a perfect blend, okay? I'm also getting something about your masculinity and femininity is balanced. 
For some of you guys, you're definitely meant in this life to be in a twin flame connection of someone who is just like you, a spiritual healer. And yeah, this person, some of you guys may know this person. They want to have a baby with you. Okay. But yeah, yeah. Some of you guys block family members. Okay. Yeah, look, Spirit says, do not believe anything he or she says. Do not believe anything he or she says. Okay? So, yeah, he or she for the streets. Okay? Whoever this hater is, you don't believe them. They're, this person is false. Don't believe whatever they're telling you. Follow your intuition. You will know who this person is when you have this gut feeling like something don't feel right. Just follow your instincts. Okay? I'm also getting like, learn how to say no from these haters. And maybe these are family members for some of you. It says first millionaire in the family. But learn how to say no. Okay. Yes, look, speaking dirt on your name. They've been watching you, seeing what you're doing, trying to find out what you're doing, speaking dirt on your name. And that's why these spells have backfired because none of it works, dude. You are a being of light. If anything, they hate that you, that you end this shit with them. And that you're different now. You guys are going through a rebirth. This is a transition. You're burning it all. I'm telling you, something is burning up here. Something is just, everything is going to be burned up. Couldn't It doesn't mean to be literally, but if you saw the beginning of this video, it was quite literally. <laughs> right? So I will be trying to tap into that. Look, Spirit is saying this hater has been trying to block your blessings. They know that you're meant to be the first freaking millionaire in the family. They know that you have the potential and the knowledge to be very wealthy, very luxurious, and have the best life. You were meant to have that. But look, it says this person is blocking your blessings. And there is a big blessing, right? A lucky new beginning, big money opportunity that wants to come in. This could be love for some of you, commitment. But... There's a hater blocking it because maybe you're still hanging out with this energy. And that's what also cleansing means. Let go of those people that don't mean well. Try to really tap into your intuition. Spirit says you have the knowledge. You have the knowledge. You know. Look, we have narcissists here. And this card doesn't even belong here. But you've been dealing with narcissists, okay? These are narcissistical people. You need to get away from these people. You can't be around... A narcissist while you are transitioning and letting go of who you think you are and letting go of all the old conditionings as you're birthing a new you and you're rising. You can't be around narcissists. They're the ones that block your blessings and hold you the fuck up, right? So it's time to let go of these narcissists, whoever they are in your life. They've just been speaking dirt on your name. They don't speak greatness in your life. They speak bad shit about you in your life. Oh, he or she's not going to make it. That, that person got no money. They're not going to be no millionaire. They're not going to reach that dream. Whatever it is, right? Yeah, something about a secret here. Somebody has a secret hidden knowledge about you or has been spreading that about you. We have fire sign, okay? Aries, Leo, Sag, and air signs as well, which we have here twice, right? Gemini, Lib uh, Libra, Aquarius. Yeah, I know, right? That's what I'm saying. The card popped up and it just doesn't even belong in that deck. But look, there is a love here. You guys are protected because you are a being of love. Some of you guys are earth angels. But it's like you are being protected, okay? Because you love people. And you still love these people even after they speak dirt in your name. It's like you don't feel any remorse in your heart or, or resent, I mean. But anyway, something else I'm getting is that there is a lover, okay? Possibly a Gemini who feels... A connection towards you and this person does love you and i'm also getting like this is a divine connection and um i'm getting two swans here right some something about ro it being romantic and you guys being tied together yeah you have a soul tie with someone here with a lover you see this tie here something is binding you to this person and yeah quite frankly they love you oh my gosh look yo I'm out of here. Look what's on the bottom of the deck. And you guys are here live with me. You know what I mean? Look. I said a possible twin flame. Hey, 133. You see it a lot? I also see 133 a lot. That's a twin flame number. It's so funny that you just ask about that. Guys, 133 is a twin flame number. It means you and your twin flame are coming together. 
okay? But there are, there are more meanings to the number. So always Google it and also feel guided. Like, what did you, what, what, what were you doing before you saw 133, you know? What were you thinking about? That was your confirmation. So if you were thinking about someone, that was your confirmation. This is your twin flame. Somebody loves you here. Or you're meant to be loved, okay, if you haven't met this person. And this is a divine connection that no hater here can block. This is divinely protected. So, yeah. This person, for some of you, you've met them, right? And they've been juggling. There's a third party and they have mixed emotions, okay? Ooh, we also have beware of envious family members. So, yeah, some of you guys have envious family members here. Okay, point blank period. They have just been wishing upon your death. They're always on this. I'm hearing some of these people could be bipolar. Sometimes they love you. Sometimes they hate you. Or it could be both at the same time. Okay. Um, what is this? Okay. Guys, if you would like to donate to my cash app, information is down below. Okay. If you would like to donate anything. Okay. I will add you to my little book of donation here. Aw, you miss your twin. I'm sure your twin misses you as well. Because when a twin flame always mirrors one another. So what you feel, they feel. For real. What you feel. So if you miss them, they, they missing you. Even if they don't say it. <laughs> if you would like to book a reading, information down below. Just email me. Look. The chaos. There's a lot of chaos in your life. A lot of things are being cleansed and removed. People, things, items, the way you thought. Okay, you're being reborn. The old you is dead and gone. Okay, this is a brand new you that's being resurrected. That's why you're healing this chaos. That's why it feels like there might be a turmoil. I see a lot of butterfly Scorpio because you're about to have this happiness, guys. Pisces energy here. Happiness is coming, but this is why you need to get, you, you clearly you have haters around you and you need to always cleanse your energy. This is not just today. It's like cleanse your energy consistently because um, you guys have some people that have the evil eye on you, you know, they, they don't wish that they, they trying to block your happiness. Some of these people know that you're in a twin flame connection or that that's meant for you. Freedom. Okay. You're heading towards freedom, towards a brand new beginning, air sign energy here. Darling, I answered that question for you about the 133. I answered it. If you want to go a little bit more back to the video, like maybe two minutes. You saw 133 in your dream. That's dope, yo. That's a pot. I feel like we are connected then because I feel like that's an activation code for twin flames and more. Look, we have love, right? Like I said, you guys are beautiful souls, beings of love, and you are attracting love. You're attracting love, okay? Um, it's like you want to be free. You want to, um, someone that, that goes and, and does the most for you. It's like you're craving someone, desiring someone who, you know, would really go all out for you. Not just give you crumbs, right? And we have leadership. This is Aries energy, right? So I do see somebody here coming. You've been patient, okay? And this person clearly has not. Um, though it might have looked like that. I see somebody really coming towards you and you also being a leader of your life. Eagles are so amazing too. Eagles are signs of spirit, guys. I was just about to say that. Like It's like the words are, the cards are there before my words. Look, spirit guide, right? If you guys are seeing hogs, black cats, white cats, rainbows, right? Ladybugs. These are the anomalies, right? The synchronicities that they are there, that they're speaking to you. Some of you guys, okay, are channelers here. Your career, okay, there's a spirit guide that is giving you information, knowledge through your ear pertaining to your career here. So trust. Trust the information that you're receiving. So let's say you get an idea, right? Like, oh my God, I feel like creating such and such, right? Go with that. That idea came from spirit. It came from your spirit guides, which means you have to trust your intuition more and not somebody else's opinion when you're like, hey, what do you think about this idea? You have to trust your spirit guide and your intuition for your career here. The 
information is down below. Um, yeah. I am even forgetful myself of certain prices. So, listen, some of you guys are going through a glow up, I'm getting. You're changing something about your beauty, whether this is um, the way that you perceive yourself, okay? Maybe you are beginning to believe that, yes, you are beautiful, handsome, sexy, whatever. And some of you guys could be actually, you know, um, dyeing your hair or doing something different. You could have changed your diet, work out more, maybe apply yoga. You're doing something of beauty here, and it's, it's causing this um, transformation, too. It's like you want a change. You're looking for a change, and it's coming. Yes, transformation. Can't even make it up. Look at the butterfly. Transformation. <laughs> Thank you, Maltabor. Baltimore, Maryland. Thank you so much, my love, for the $20. Many blessings to you. Baltimore. Maryland, okay? I will be praying for you too. You also are in need of a miracle, huh, love? I got you. I got all of you. Do not worry, okay? For some of you guys, you're calling in some friends. For others of you, you need to watch who your friends are, okay? Trust me. Fertility. I'm getting someone here. It's gonna, it's somebody here is pregnant or is giving birth to a project, an idea, right? I'm going to pull out like maybe three, four cards from this deck that I created. Thank you guys for your donations. I really appreciate it. My cash app and PayPal is also um, in the information below. So we have an eviction notice. I told you something about your house. Have I not been telling you something about your house? And then we have eviction notice, hashtag house. You guys need to cleanse your house. Eviction notice. Some of you guys may be literally getting kicked out or somebody is doing spells on your house so it burns down. So something happens to it. Thank you, love. So something happens to it. Okay. There's some... So, but I'm also getting here like notice your house. Notice your house. The papers that are put there. Something that you need to notice. Hmm. I need to, I need to really tap into this. Let me see what I hear. Okay, I'm hearing missing. Is something missing in your house or like little things have been missing maybe on your front porch for some of you who don't live in like a city apartment? Something about a cable? Hold on. Hold on, hold on. Let me see what I can get here. Because this is new. I feel like I'm tapping into something and I really feel like it's important like a warning or something. Okay, so you need to notice the air. Okay, you need to notice the air. This could also mean your thoughts because it's air energy. Okay, some of you need to cleanse the thoughts that you have about yourself or your life or something. But I'm really getting something, the air. You need to cleanse the air because there might be something in the air. Okay, some of you need to check that, that thing that um every house needs to have in order to like not have a fire or something and also like it check it checks the oxygen or whatever that is i don't really know the name like something like that right the air people i don't know let's get more info i'm trying to use more of my clear audience abilities not just cards this eviction notice here. Spiritual healer. Some of you guys need to get um, some sort of spiritual healer to cleanse your home. That's for someone. But I feel like you have the ability to do it. Like I said, you are a high priestess. You are a guru. You are a healer. You are a light worker. You are a priestess or a priest. What is this? Someone is going to jail. Yeah, carbon dioxide. Thank you, love. Oh, I love you guys. See, this is a fan. You know, we help. We don't judge, right? We don't judge. Thank you so much. So anyway, somebody's going to jail here, whether spiritually or physically. This card has been popping up. Yes, yes. This could be like some sort of poison. There's some sort of smoke 
okay? You need to beware of some sort of smoke. This is this could be why you sage monoxide, okay? Or um or someone is kind of like slowly doing something in your house and maybe you're sensing a weird smell. Just kind of be more aware, pay attention. Yes, I'm getting something about a shark, okay? There's a shark. Not a literal, right? A, a spiritual meaning of a shark. Can we get 59 likes here, guys? Can we get those likes up? Thank you. Can we get 59 likes in the house? So, yeah. I don't know. Look, it also says your enemies will watch you be blessed. So either way, it's being backfired. You have some enemies, clearly. Oh my gosh. And we split it on billionaire. Some of you guys have that ability here. You're meant to be a billionaire or a millionaire, but you have mi billion dollar ideas. I'm also getting like, you have a billion dollar idea. Go do it. Look, this also came out, right? So this is why obviously you're going to have haters. Who's not going to hate? You know, you're a billionaire now. I feel like you're, they're going to watch you be a billionaire. For someone here particularly, your enemies are going to watch you be a billionaire. Period. You saw the card split right there, so fuck that. So, yeah, that's fucking crazy. Yeah, you guys need to be more careful, okay? This could be some freaking karmic people here, exes, just mad. You have haters here who are in battle and conflict. Maybe why you're always winning, why you always get the praise, I don't know. Somebody here just clearly don't like you. A moon raw, hell yeah. Look, focus on your life purpose. I'm also hearing they're mad that you're focusing on your life purpose, that you're focusing on your healing. You're healing yourself. You're tapping into who you are. You're waking up. They hate that shit. Oh, my gosh. Look, some of you guys need to move away from a toxic ex. This is a toxic ex. I kept telling you that. See, something is toxic around you, and you're letting it go. Um, Can somebody Google what is the spiritual meaning of black smoke and type it down there? It will help with this channeling here. But look, you need to move away from a toxic ex. Wow. And I split it on voodoo here. Look, I told you guys they have been doing black magic voodoo on you guys. This is why you need to cleanse your energy. Okay. There's voodoo spells. Beauty spells is what I'm getting. Black spells. Beauty spells. Is something happening to your beauty? This is due to spell work. Okay. I'm also getting like goddess energy. Tap in. Goddess energy. You're a goddess. Okay. Your God, whatever. Okay, look, your this could be your brother or sister doing this. Or an ex. So for some of you, it's family. For others of you, again, I split the deck. Look what it says. Protect your energy. Cleanse and your energy, right? Protect your energy. That's how you protect it. And plus, like I said, you guys are very high vibrational. You need to tap in your goddess and God energy. Yep. So listen, yeah, exactly. Gods and goddesses don't fucking do voodoo spells. Someone here is obviously going to jail. Spiritual jail is what I'm getting for casting a spell here. But with this thief here, trust me, somebody here is going to literal jail for trying to do something to somebody's house. They could have, I'm getting an arsonist. Someone here could be an arsonist and like to cause fires and shit like that. What the freak? So some of you guys, this was an ex. Exactly. You just reverse that shit. You just reverse it. You guys have spiritual gifts. You don't got time to hate. All right. So you just reverse spirit. Please send that shit back to sender a thousand times more, please. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. So you need to make a decision. Some of you guys need to make a decision about something. And this is why this is coming up. You will know what you need to make a decision here. Some of you guys need to make a decision for sure. Okay. And look, big sum of money coming in. So there's a lot of money coming in for you guys. I've been saying this message a lot too. It's been, it's been really coming up. I have to now cleanse my energy and space because I almost caused a freaking fire here. Yeah. Thank you for the likes, guys. I appreciate you. Oh, and thanks for being here to celebrate this 10K. I am excited. I am obviously thinking of bringing in new ideas and things to the channel. So... Just bear with me, okay? In the meantime, if you haven't checked out the Zodiac signs, I have um, uploaded some, okay? Look, I told you you're going on an adventure.
yeah. Thank you, yeah. Like, share, and subscribe, guys. Thank you, Tronda. Hey, Mango in the house. <laughs> yeah, self-healing is the best healing. That's right. Black smoke means divine feminine ancestors and deep moon energy. Wow. Fire. Look at all this black smoke in the back. Your ancestors are helping you with this rebirth then, huh? You're not alone, right? What else did it mean there? That was dope. Thank you for that message, my love. We got blessings coming, okay? We got blessings. So that's why get rid of that shit. Out with the old, in with the new. It means deep moon energy. Wow. That's like... You're literally doing um, cellular healing is what I'm healing, okay? A lot of you guys are healing your cells inside. This isn't just a rebirth in the physical, you know, you glowing up. This is you also changing your DNA cells and altering your consciousness and leaving behind the conditionings that, you know, your family, friends, society had you in, all right? Kind of like the movie The Matrix, right? What is this decision about? What is this decision about? purification come on is this not about cleansing <laughs> come on purification you need to purify your energy your soul sunflowers some of you guys if you have ancestor altars they want a sunflower others of you start adding flowers to your life to your house buy some sunflowers connect with the color yellow if you feel like you need to connect with your solar plexus Okay, um, yeah, but I'm getting like you need to if you have a garden as well. Yeah, you need to cleanse your garden. Yeah, because obviously sometimes like obviously I forget like the other messages because obviously I don't have a garden yet. But um, yeah, if you have a garden, cleanse it. Okay, water your plants. I'm also getting if you have plants in your house, in your room. Okay, water them. This is the time to purify. You are purifying your mind, body and soul. That's why you're going through this rebirth. You're going through a period of purification. Spirit is removing and burning away, right? And I set fire to the rain. Watch it burn as I touch the face, right? You're letting it all burn here. Purify. Get the freaking rid of all that shit. Whatever it is, there's a gateway. Something wants to come in and open. Unicorn. Something freaking magical, Okay. Can we get 73 likes in here? Thanks, guys. There's a gateway. Okay, there's a portal opening here. Wow, I split it on blessings. There's a portal opening here. Again, with the yellow. That could be your favorite color. I'm also getting try to fix you. Somebody could have tried to fix you. Or maybe you feel like you needed fixing, but it's like you're going through a huge transformation. This is a period of pure purification, meaning getting rid of nothing that serves you. Just letting it go. Let it go. I wish I had the book for this card for purification here. Okay, something with water. Make sure you work with fire and water. You could be a fire or water sign, okay? Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, I just heard. But listen, um, rain. Use rainwater to cleanse your space. If you can collect rainwater... Okay, use it for your manifestations to bring in new prosperity and things like that. Look, because you're going through a transformation and I can't even make it up. You're seeing here with me, right? It's, yeah, we all agree. Yeah, if you're seeing butterflies and shit like that, all right? Some of you guys, it may be raining while you're watching this, all right? But it's like, collect some rain um, and cleanse with it. I used to do that all the time, but it's so hard to do it in a city shit you know at times that it's just like but I, i'm able to do it at times here and there courage okay you need to have courage and make a decision about something here something you need to let go of someone a place or a thing it's time to cleanse your soul it's time to forgive that's what i'm hearing it's time to forgive yourself to say yes to yourself it's time to explore, to go out on an adventure. There are opportunities that await you, my love. There are new opportunities that are awaiting you. So what are you waiting for? What are you waiting for? <laughs> Thank you guys for your donation, okay? I'm telling you, I'm going to be praying for you. 
especially for this energy that needs to be cleansed and these haters. Though I know, look, serendipity, you guys are just lucky. No, no, no. You're not lucky, you're blessed. But it's like, there's also just a lot of luck or people just think you're lucky. Okay? Yeah, I'm, I'm just seeing a lot of serendipitous moments here. All right, what else do we need to know about cleansing the space and energy here for my collective? Watch it burn a sad such to face and I heard someone crying. I don't know the song like that, but I'm getting that Adele song if somebody knows it. Uh, mending, okay? So, yeah. Someone here may try to come back, try to mend things with you and message you. Maybe this is the person that you need to let go. Okay? It's over. It's over. Somebody here is watching you and this is somebody toxic. <laughs> Community. Okay? Community. The neighbors. I'm getting something about your neighbors here. Some of you guys need to cleanse your energy because you have freaking neighbors that you need to watch out for. Mm -hmm. For some of you, these are the neighbors that are doing voodoo mm -hmm. on you. Okay, Trisha, thank you so much for your $5 donation, love. Okay, sending you many blessings, love, and light. And I will also pray for a miracle for you, my love. Thank you, Trisha. Okay, we have loyal heart. All right? So I see that there's going to be a lot of healing in your life. A new period of where things are going to feel pure. Okay, spirit is giving you a clean slate. I, this is what I wanted to say. Spirit is giving you a clean slate. Okay, where if there's someone here that you need to make amends for and forgive. Okay, there's going to be space for that. Whether it's a friend, family, lover, I don't know, co-worker, right? But this is a period of, like I said, you're getting a clean slate. You're, there's a lot of forgiveness. You're calling in your soul tribe. I keep saying this. You're calling in the community, the soul tribe, the people that are going to help you reach the heights that you want to reach. All right? You're going to feel more support from your community, your spirit guides, if you guys have a platform. But I'm also getting here like your spirit guides, your ancestors, okay? You, you need to know that you are supported and um, that they will be healing here. Even a new beginning with some of you. This is with a lover with loyal heart here. I'm also getting, like I said, something with loyalty. It's like you guys are just very loyal. And you are meant to have someone as loyal, just as loyal as you. And there will be a mending here with another relationship. Okay, somebody from the past may want to come in here. I'm hearing you have the key to their heart. But look, chaos and conflict again, right? These haters... The number 33 is here. These haters have been blocking your treasure, have been blocking your blessings. Look at this treasure. They have been blocking your blessings. Whatever is wanting to come in is being blocked by these people. So it's time to let it go, okay? All this freaking chaos and conflict that they try to bring in your life, all the drama. It's like, get over it already. Yin, okay, we have divine feminine energy. That's the ace of cups. Brand new, fresh starts, healing, self-love. Yeah, thank you, my love. That is the song. Yeah, set fire to the rain. Thinker, okay. Some of you guys need to cleanse your space because you've been having negative thoughts. Your mind hasn't been clear. It's like there's a lot of confusion. This is why you need to cleanse your space. Maybe you have been needing to make a decision about a place, a person, or a thing, but you don't haven't made it. You could be seeing 333444. You could be 33 years old or 44 years old or 35 years old for whoever that is for. But it's like, if that is true, it's because you haven't cleansed your space, my darling. You haven't cleansed your tape, uh, your temple. It's time to purify it. And that's the truth. Okay, that's the truth, guys. Word up. Word up. Okay, look, I can't even make it up. Look, it's time to go. It's time to go. Forgive and, fr and freaking, I guess, forget. I don't know. Look, you, it's time to go. It's toxic there, wherever you are. It's time to go from this person, place, or thing. It's time to go towards your life purpose. You're closing out a cycle here. This Okay, my candle just started doing a crazy sound. 
So some of you guys need to light up a candle mm -hmm. and do a mm -hmm. cleansing ritual. Mm -hmm. Sanja, thank you so much, my love, for your donation to Cash App. Many blessings to you. Wow, thank you, love. Thank you, everybody. I love you guys. I'm sending you many blessings, love, and light, and I have your name written down here. I'm also sending you a freaking miracle. Freaking out of here. You know, guys, when we pray for each other, we let us elevate one another. Some of you guys are out here asking why. Why me? Okay? You've been questioning shit a lot. You need to cleanse your energy if you're looking for clarity. It's time to go for something that no longer serves you. It's, this is what you need to do, okay? When you're cleansing your energy and you're saging, just ask Archangel Michael, your ancestors or your spirit guides of the highest white light, to just remove, right? All the negative energy, evil eye, hex, curse, all right? And just release it. You let it go. Ask it to release it from your mind, body, soul, and energy. It's time to go, right? You're heading, you're heading towards that opportunity. There's a door that you're walking towards, yeah. And it's full of blessings. It's it's a very lucky door. It's it's a clean slate, guys. You're you're moving away from the fog and walking towards freaking clarity, basically. Yeah? Can we all agree? You're letting go of that conflict, drama, and shit. And that's the truth be told. Right? <laughs> Teresa already cleansed her space. Well, you know, a lot of you guys are birthing a new life. You need to make sure your space is a beautiful sanctuary where you can breathe. Again, the air. Make sure the air is clean. Make sure your space is clean. Make sure that you guys can meditate, do yoga on it. Make sure the energy is clean. Make sure that you feel that it's a safe space and sanctuary. Okay? Yeah. If you guys also, some of you guys, like I said, have been feeling confused, like you're feeling like you're in between worlds, like maybe you need to ground yourself, okay? Go and ground your energy because you are in between worlds because you're in a period of a transition. There is a rebirth. You're not there yet, but you're almost there. Maybe you already walked out and you're in the middle, but you're heading there. So this is a transition, okay? You're going from the unclear, the confusion, the clouds to the clear the crown, and freaking colors. You're leaving this dull life and walking towards color finally, right? You're going to upgrade. You guys are upgrading. It's like this is life is not black and white no more. Suddenly you're seeing colors, right? And definitely your treasure is coming, guys. Your treasure is coming. Treasure Island. Yes, it was slowed down due to these fucking haters. They try to slow it down with this turtle. But... I'm getting life is not a race, right? Everything is in divine timing. I see a lot of money coming. And you guys have seen the other cards saying it. And look, no place like home. Again, cleanse your home. Make sure that it's nice and cozy. You need to change. Some of you guys need to create a change in your house. Yeah, maybe move around the furniture. Um, You know, move around the furniture as you're cleansing it too. Like kind of redesign it. Yeah, because we have 50 here. And the number five is of change. Some of you guys may be relocating, moving homes. Some of you guys need to move from the home that you are, okay? There's like a toxic energy there. For others of you, I'm getting like there's there's a new energy, a new light that wants to come in your home. Once you cleanse it, you're going to feel like, ah, like this beautiful bright light coming through. I really am getting that. Oh, I'm also getting something about lavender, guys. Guys, use lavender. Mm -hmm. Work with the color purple here, okay? Thank you so much, Sonia. All right, look, work with the color purple and lavender in your house. Like I said, use the essential oils for your air, but also like your sheets, your bed, your rugs. Something about purple. If you use purple in your house, it would help you um, kind of open your third eye here. Oh, my gosh. And look at the bottom of the deck. It says clean it up. And look, they got the little broom thingy, right? little dust thingy you guys need to, there's a lot of dust in your house like i said it's a lot of ash there's a lot of old shit you got to get rid of maybe you've been hoarding um a lot of old items you got to get rid of them but look you got to clean it up guys i this is it's right here you guys are seeing it you need to cleanse your energy and space clean it up clean it up you got to clean those books those little corners of your house here why is it important because there's that, ooh, yeah, look, there's that dark energy there that's kind of trying to come up the surface. 
But once you clean it up, it will just feel like home. You're fit. You're okay. For some of you guys, your home hasn't felt like home in a long while. It's because of this dark energies. Okay. And some of you guys, it has been affecting your dream state because of that. That's why you need to get rid of this. Yeah. Not for you and buy the book. There's something here that's just not for you that maybe you guys need to make the decision to let go. Okay. Anything else, spirit? Yeah, something about using crystals. Okay, make sure that you guys use crystals in your house to raise the vibration. You know, kind of put them on your windows and things like that. Um, what else? What else should I use? What are you guys saying? <laughs> Oh yeah, you gotta cleanse it. Move your move move your desk, you know. Do that food G thing and kind of have less. I'm seeing, you know, get rid of some things. There's some old items you guys haven't gotten rid of, and like those clothes don't fit you no more. Get rid of clothes that don't fit you no more. Toys, things that are just there and unnecessary. Whatever is unnecessary, you gotta let it go. Just let it go. Whoever in your life doesn't serve you, who's fake, who's wearing a mask, let it go, let it go. Exactly. Let it go. Okay, I am going to pull from the Moonology deck, guys, and then I'm going to head out. I want to thank each and every one of you who has donated to my channel. Thank you guys for subscribing, liking, and sharing my video. Thank you for the 10K. I would have never, ever done it without you, all right? Everything here is with you. Yes, I'm giving the message, but who's watching it, right? <laughs> so thank you, guys. <laughs> but these two random cards don't belong here. Yes, royal. Make your house royalty. Exactly, guys. Make your house luxurious. Feel like royalty. Make it cozy. Yeah, it's okay. I'm also getting here like your house isn't that much cozy. I'm not, I don't, I don't want to disrespect nobody, but I did get a, a channeled message here. Okay. I'm getting something like, you know, when you walk into someone's home, it feels very welcoming, very calm. Like it just feels not, even if your house is clean, I'm just speaking energetically. I'm not saying that your house is dirty, right? But energetically speaking, maybe your house doesn't feel as calm, okay, when people walk in. So just make it welcoming. Look, there's no place like home. It's time to make your house very welcoming. Raise the vibration. Cleanse it. Let the aura in there. Change. Add paintings. Make it luxurious. Make it you. All right? Houses are very important. But this is not just your house. This is also your spiritual house. I'm also speaking about your temple. Do your spiritual bath. Sage your body. Read read the right books. Feed your brain. Read more books. Learn knowledge. Go within. Connect with your higher self. Who you are. Start to question. Why am I here? Okay? <laughs> yes, guys. Oops. <laughs> yeah, guys. All right? Wow. So these cards didn't belong here. Um, but they say um, blossoming abundance. Right? I told you guys. A lot of abundance is coming towards you. Some of you guys could be seeing owls, bees, okay? Um, we have the garden and the eve. Like I said, you may be feeling hesitant to journey somewhere new and let go of something. But yes, let go of that gate. Get out of that small little world and look towards the garden, the possibility. Some of you guys need to cleanse your garden. Point blank period. If you have a garden, you need to cleanse your garden to attract abundance. It's blocking your abundance. Some of you guys have an old birdhouse you need to get rid of too is what I'm getting outside of your garden, okay? Some of you guys need to change the flowers in your house, outside of your house, or plant something or plant something in your garden. Take what resonates. And we have patience, okay? Sagittarius energy. So something is happening for you in divine timing, All right? This is why you need to clean up. Somebody may be going to visit your house and this is why you need to cleanse it but treasure island is coming this is what's coming treasure is coming so clean the fuck up clean the fuck up you know you're, you're literally going into a whole new face so wow okay this card wants to come out okay expect powerful change nah but don't do it like that always clean it, especially if they're doing witchcraft right expect powerful change there's powerful change. Like I just told you, transformation coming in your life. This is Your life is not going to be the same anymore. Look at all this purple. Again, your third eye is opening. There's a new moon eclipse here. 
Thank you, love. I'm glad this is resonating. <laughs> Believe in the impossible. Some of you guys could be Gemini. Okay, check out Gemini's reading. This came out for Gemini. I did that reading yesterday. If you have that anywhere in your chart, go check it out, okay? But anyways, believe in the impossible. You guys, so if you're trying to manifest manifest something incredible, if you're trying to attract abundance, you need to align with this energy and believe in the impossible. There's something that is once in a blue moon that is coming or someone. So this is why you need to um, do this, okay? Yes, a brand new start is trying to come in. So make way. Make way for the new, out with the old, in with the new. Let God, what is that one that they say? Let God and let, I don't know, I forgot it. <laughs> but look, there's a brand new start. Oh yes, let go and let God. Let go and let God. There's a brand new beginning that wants to come in. Like I said, believe in the impossible. This is this new beginning. It's a fresh new start, a whole new life. Things that you guys didn't expect before. Okay, thank you, glorious the God, for your donation. I couldn't see how much you donated yet because of the thing, but whatever it was, sending you love, light, and appreciation, my love. Let me confirm your name here. Hold on. Glorious the God. Hey, we are all gods and goddesses here, huh? I will be praying for you, my love. Thank you. <laughs> okay, I got your name written down. So something, oh my gosh, and look, prosperity lies ahead. Like I keep saying to you guys, you guys, there's a big sum of money coming. There's a big pentacle here that you're manifesting. Do not worry. Your haters are going to watch you be blessed. Taurus energy in the house. Your energies are going to watch you be blessed. It's a brand new beginning. It's powerful. But it requires you to look, to meditate and balance your life spiritually and physically. Okay? You guys need to bring in this balance. Cleanse this energy. Get rid of what no longer serves you. Because there's powerful change. In doing this, you are. Maybe you feel like it isn't that much change. Spirit is saying it's powerful change. Just cleansing your home and your space is going to be powerful change it's going to attract that new beginning that you have been looking for okay just believe it's that simple just believe that all is possible if you just do that just cleanse your energy clean it up make your house feel warm and cozy again all right look hold your vision there's something that you have been wanting hold that vision keep the hope it is coming guys luck is on your side okay i'm also hearing confidence is the key to success leo energy so, like I said, there's a brand new start. You just have to believe, and it's yours. But expect it that it's going to be powerful, though. It's not just any change. It's powerful change. So, what do you need to let go of in your life that can cause you to be completely a new you? Who do you need to let go of? What do you need to sacrifice here in order to have this new beginning? Some of you guys already done so. You've moved away from lots of people. Okay. So, yes, love. This is all I have for you today. Thank you for joining this live, celebrating with me. Though I didn't pop this champagne, guys. I didn't pop it today. It's too late. You know what I mean? <laughs> it's too late. Do you believe in life after love? I can feel something. Yeah, we got share in the house. Some of you guys, you need to believe in love, okay? The old me is dead and gone, dead and gone. Yo, the old you is dead and gone. Like, people are going to watch you rise and be like, who is that? Who is that? You're going to have even more haters now. The haters are going to have a reason to hate. You know? They're literally going to be hating more. <laughs> yeah? Which one is your favorite song? Which one? I just sang like two. Oh, the old me is dead and gone? Yeah, guys, just focus on your on your life purpose because either way, like, you guys have billion and million dollars ideas here. This is your destiny. You got to believe it, though, right? Believe in the impossible. I'm getting, like, a big sum of money is coming to a lot of you guys here, okay? Believe. I don't know where you can win the freaking lottery. I know it sounds crazy, but I don't know. Or something that you've been working really hard. It's just causing a lot of people to be envious of you, especially the ones that you grew up with. So, Yeah. Thank you to everyone who also donated and liked my video. 
Thank you for watching my videos and resonating. I'm also so happy that it brings you love, light, and clarity. All right, just know that their spells backfired and it doesn't work, okay? It, it can't work on you. Yeah, these cards go here. Just tap into your God and goddess energy, okay? Remember who you are. Tap into that empress, emperor energy, right? Because you are highly protected. But for some of you guys, you need to be careful of these thieves. People have stole something from your house. Maybe your neighbor literally went inside your house to take an item of you for some of you. I don't know. If there's been a lot of shit going on in your neighborhood, this is due to someone here doing witchcraft as well. Yeah. I am going to do a, um, a reading for the neighbors here because I have been picking up that certain neighbors are freaking jealous, haters. And are doing spells. And this is me who thought that like like neighbors, like who thinks about neighbors, right? But no, actually neighbors literally put curses on people and shit. I'm over here thinking no idea, right? Like, ah, oh, that's just a neighbor, right? Even people that don't know you put curses on you. So that's just the weird part. Step into your leadership and be confident. You're, very, you're meant for success. You're meant to be successful. And yes, open yourself for love. There is a clean slate, okay? There is a clean slate with somebody here, okay? Purify your mind, body, and soul, guys. Purify your heart, the love as well, okay? Take action about this cleansing. Take action. Take heed. Let go of these people or places or thing. Yes. All right. That's my advice to you guys. All right. I will tomorrow post a video, like I said, about your neighbors. Stay tuned because your neighbors have been doing spell work. But tomorrow we're going to find out why, what's the T, and maybe clues so you guys can find out if this is you or not. Okay? Because it is general. If you would like to book a personal reading, information is down below. All right, I have all you guys' names here to donate it. Thank you so much. Whether it was through my cash app or here on YouTube, I'm truly grateful for all of you, okay? Yeah. Resurrection. Exactly. We died and came back. Fuck's this about? We're resurrecting here. All right. Um, thank you, guys. I just bought some candy today. So something about Halloween is coming up here for you guys. All right. And something about this. Someone likes Rice Krispies because I want, I feel like eating it right now. What's happening to Munchies? Did somebody just get high? Sandra, if you found a dead cat on your porch, what color was it? That is witchcraft, love. That is, that, that's a potential there. Look, my ear's ringing. Mm-hmm. Sonia. Be careful. Okay, you need to get rid of that energy. Put a lot of hot water on your porch. Cleanse it, add Florida water. Sage it, add salt. Salt water also cleanses away. Like I said, Adam, use black salt. But listen, if somebody left a dead cat on the front of your porch, that is not a sign to just chill. Yeah, you did. Yeah, it's Mingo who's having the freaking munchies over here. You're freaking high as hell, huh? Yeah, God is seeing all. Their spells is going to backfire. Trust me, whoever's been fucking with you. But I'm getting something about your neighbors doing shit in your house, your spaces, your porch, wherever you live, that area, whatever access they have to you. Mm-hmm. Yeah, use black salt like this, guys. This is my black salt that I made. Okay. I just bought a little jar for a dollar and I did my own black salt. So you could do that. Okay. Just sprinkle it with the intention, right? That all that is going to come up here. Yeah. I'm, that's what I'm going to do the reading tomorrow on. Okay. I'm going to make a reading about your neighbors. I'm going to come live and see what's been going on with your neighbors. Why am I picking up this hateful energy witchcraft shit? All right, because we shouldn't all trust our neighbors, right? Yeah, right? I should sell my own black salt, guys. I just, um, 
I'm not going to lie, you know, I need a little help and assistance so that I could gather the tools to make it. But I know I know the universe is with me, right? And we will be able to launch some hex, black salt, and candles and all that good stuff. <laughs> White with a little gray. Yeah, there's no reason for a random cat to be left on your front porch either. That was kind of like a threat and intention there. Look, we have two of swords that came out there. So you need to block this energy, okay? Or somebody is trying to block your blessings here. They're doing shit to block your blessings. Yeah, listen, they're doing something to slow you down there. What's her name? Sanja? They're doing something to slow down you or your money, okay? So you need to cleanse. Guys, this is some serious shit. You need to come on my live tomorrow. I'm going to give the tea about these neighbors. After I hang up, I may put the, uh, the reminder... But I'm not sure I'm tired, but I may just so that you guys attend the live tomorrow. Yeah, somebody's trying to slow you guys down and block shit. Look, they're paying practitioners. They're paying somebody else or jipping you off. Okay, I'm also hearing the scales are not balanced here. Somebody, ooh, ooh, I also am hearing, can I get some sugar? Somebody, a neighbor here could have gone to your house to ask you about something that they needed. Okay, they just wanted to take something of your energy. These people are taking your energy is what I'm getting. They're draining you. If they ask you for something, you guys need to be careful. Listen, just show up in my life tomorrow. Demetrius, how about you give a little donation over here? You you out here talking about giving me a, a whole big thing, this guy. He's so funny. <laughs> I need a chair, guys. I literally sit on a little stool here. But we'll gather up. We'll gather it up together. Yeah, exactly. Always use that boil water and cleanse. Cleanse and just throw a lot of um, hot water with salt. And the intention that this is going to cleanse anything spiritually negatively from here, right? And physically, right? Everything with the intention of goodness that it's going to be cleansed. Hi, love. Tanisha, make sure you um watch this live from the beginning. A lot of important messages here. Some of you guys could be feeling attacked in your sleep, but I got to go. I, I'm not going to keep... Yeah, look, they're doing work on you. These neighbors are doing work on you. This is going to be part two tomorrow. Look, some of you guys can't sleep because your enemies, your neighbors are doing work on you. Okay, they're doing spell work. If your dream has been affected, you feel anxious, insomnia. Look, somebody's fucking with your sleep, and that's the truth. Somebody doesn't want you to speak also here. But somebody is doing witchcraft here. It's not to be trusted. Some of your neighbors are not to be trusted. Maybe that should be the title here. Give me a second here. Some of your neighbors are not to be trusted, guys. Okay? That's going to be tomorrow's live. I'm also getting right things down that you're going to do within a week so you don't forget. Whatever you got, you gathered from today, make sure you write it down. Because sometimes people may forget. And this shit here, this shit is no joke, okay? This shit is serious. So, yeah. Seven of Swords is no joke. Getting backstabbed, deception, collaboration. Some of your neighbors here, all they do is fucking gossip about you with their other, with their other friends. Someone here lives in the uh, in the suburbs, point blank period. Someone here got some nasty neighbors that they just click up together to do spells on you. Beauty spells on you for some of you. It's fucking sad. Look, the devil. Look, witches. You guys have a, whoa, you guys have a coven of witches in your neighborhood. I'm writing that shit down. Hold on, I'm getting downloads right now. Wow. There's a covenant of witches and warlocks or just witches and then just warlocks, okay? But there's a covenant of witches in your neighborhood doing spell work. That was such a straight download. Did you guys hear that? Look at the freaking devil. Capricorn, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. They've been really messing with your money, guys. They've been messing with your money. If you have an online business, they hate that shit. If you guys are entrepreneur, 
They're trying to block your blessings. They're trying to block your gifts. Some of you guys are spiritual. They're trying to block your spiritual gifts. Wow, you see these two cards here? That's just crazy. Thank you, Jasmine's intuition for your donation, my love. Sending you much love and light. Guys, please join this live tomorrow. And if you're not able to make it, at least watch it afterwards. Because I'm getting like a lot of you guys. There's 64 people in the house, but I'm feeling a lot more energy here. So Jasmine is, thank you so much for your donation, sweetie. Yeah, sending you love and light. And I'm also praying for you for your miracle. Everybody in here, they get their fucking miracle. You know what I mean? Look, someone's not to be trusted. Look at this cat right here, too. You see this black cat? They've been fucking with that. That was witchcraft, that, that, that cat right there from earlier, okay? Who was left on the front porch. But look, you see the sunflower, guys? You see that sunflower? That's you purifying. You, you are the light worker, and they are dark witches here. Thank you, Demetrius, for your $5. How? Okay. I will also be praying for you, love, and your house. Okay, I'm going to pray. This, this, this prayer here is going to be for a miracle, but also for protection in your house. Because, listen, you guys are de dealing with some demons here, some witches, warlocks, people... A cult is what I'm getting here. A Bahama. A freaking masonry here. A covenant of witches here. A gang. Yeah, I'm really getting that. I'm I'm really getting... You know what? I'm leaving these two cards out so that I know what I'm talking about tomorrow. Someone here has been doing death spells and this was your neighbors. Yeah. If you guys remember my last live, I said somebody's doing death spells on you. For some of you, this was your neighbors. See that? It backfired. But look at that. The tower. They've been doing some crazy shit on you guys. You need to move away. Some of you guys need to move away. They've been trying to cause chaos in you guys so you move away. Some of you guys, they don't want you there. They've been trying to do things so you move away. They don't want you in this property. They've been trying to cause misfortune. Tower moments. They want you to be evicted. Yeah, that came up earlier. Your neighbors want you to be evicted. Oh my God, I'm getting so many downloads. Hold on. In one week, okay? This week, somebody's going to find out something about their house and their neighbor. Look, Spirit's saying this week. I just read that and it just... Yeah, so... Come through tomorrow, guys. Come through tomorrow. This is crazy. A lot of downloads. Look. They might be the one in anxiety for some reason. Somebody's in anxiety, anxious. They can't fucking sleep. They're overwhelmed. They feel overwhelmed. This is somebody uh, who had, who's a mother here, the empress, right? Like you guys are the empress, but this person could be like um, a neighbor that has kids. Could have a lot of kids, four kids for some of you. Nine kids, all right? Eight kids. A lot of kids. Somebody here has a lot of kids. Someone's neighbor has a lot of kids. Um, yeah. So, uh-huh. I'm getting, don't trust them. They're the devil. Don't trust these people. They're witches. They may look normal on the outside, like beautiful goddesses and kings and queens, but they're a devil inside. Their spirit is fucking terrible. Right? They're obsessed with you. With the devil, you have neighbors that are obsessed with you. I'm getting so many downloads right now. Hold on. They're obsessed with doing magic and doing spells on you. For some of you, it's beauty spells as well. They've been messing with your garden. Look at this sunflower. They have been messing with your confidence with your sunflowers, with your garden, with your cats. Or like I said, leaving dead cats around your property. Oh my gosh, do you see this front porch? Do you guys see this? How it looks like a pedestal. It's a front porch and there's a cat. And you remember someone here is writing about that? I'm telling you. They're, they're energy vampires. These niggas in a cult here. Look, they're trying to mess with your marriage. If some of you guys are married here, they're trying to mess with your relationships. The community, the people around you, your husband, your emperor. I'm also hearing some of your neighbors want your man or woman. Oh, yeah. Wow. They want your man or woman. Husband or wife.
Freemasons for sure. Illuminati out here. What? We got all the Bahamuts out here. It's crazy. Of course I'm an oracle, sweetie. Life is a matrix and I'm an oracle, but I'm also Neo. <laughs> I'm chosen. <laughs> matrix is my favorite movie. And I'm excited for the one that comes out on December 22. So if you guys want to, you know, when the time approaches there, buy me the tickets. That'd be dope. Because you guys love me. I know you love me. You want to spoil me. I know you love me. You want to spoil me. <laughs> I'm silly. I'm being silly. They be all in. Damn, Demetrius, who the fuck are you? You be talking some shit out here. <laughs> Fucking the attic? What? <laughs> yeah, guys, clean out the attics. Thank you for bringing that up, King David. If you guys have an old attic, go check it out. Mm -hmm. Cleanse that shit out, okay? Mm -hmm. Amy, thank you so much for your huge donation. $50, my goodness. Thank you so much, my love. Wow. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Ooh, I am blessed. I am blessed. My life is full of miracles. All right. Thank you, my love. Many blessings to you. Okay. I will definitely pray for you, a miracle, and as well as protection. Let me just get your whole name here, though I won't say it publicly. Okay. Yesterday, by mistake, I said someone's name publicly, and I'm very sorry. I did delete the live. I didn't know you guys sometimes don't want me to say your names, so I do apologize if, if I do. But I wanted to give you the credit, you know, that you deserve. So, yeah, I wrote your guys' names down. Thank you, guys. I love you. <laughs> hey, I got, I got people who love me here, you know, and it feels so good that you guys are so supportive. I'm always, like, bending down here. I got I to gotta get a chair. <laughs> He's like, fuck Sage. I need some. <sighs> Where's the smoke? Yeah, smoke also gives me like that that ghetto reference of like, who wants smoke? So it's like a lot of people want problems or trying to cause problems in your life. Mm -hmm. That's why you need to protect your energy at all times. You need to constantly, every week, do a cleanse, do a ritual in your house, your space. Like, okay. It's been seven days. Every week, every seven days, I'm also hearing you need to light a white candle. Okay? So light a big white candle once you do your cleansing. Okay? King David, how do you know my name, if I may ask? How do you know my real name? Because I don't even have my real name on Instagram or anything. So do I know you? King David. Now we're interested. The whole room is interested. We just put you on the spot. I need to know how you know my name. Some of you guys may like the Swedish fish here because I feel like I want to eat candy or something. I don't know. Something about Halloween, guys. <gasps> Something about Halloween, dude. Costumes. Costumes. Listen. Whoa, Lisa said, is this an OBF? Chill, that'd be creepy. Is it? <laughs> who's King David? Everybody start writing who's King David. Nah, I'm kidding. I don't want to violate, but... You said the cash app? Oh, it's my name on my cash app? I didn't know my name was on my cash app. I thought it just said Maji. But hey, my B, my B. I ain't being aggressive. <laughs> Listen, guys. I'm also going to do another live on, about Halloween. There's a very important warning. I don't want to scare anybody, but look, yeah, I'm being drawn to the color orange. Listen, I'm going to do a reading tomorrow as well. Okay? 
um, it's important. Something about the candy, your children, costumes, beware. I'm hearing a lot of freaking downloads, but I really got to go to bed. And look, it's I have one hour and 44 minutes and it's 4-4. Four, four. I saw one four 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 four. That was confirmation. I got to also write that down. Okay, anything you need to do, you need to write it down. She said, do it tonight. Mm -mm, it's got to be tomorrow so I could do a really full charge. You know, I'll have my little coffee. Guys, I'll buy myself a coffee tomorrow. And I'll start this shit. I'll start um doing a clear audience first and then I'll get on live. Whoa. Someone just said, Miss Santana, chill. Now he's scaring me, guys. Go check out if in my cash app, my name is Mabel. Because I'm telling you, now my whole name is being put up. Nah, we need to know who's this King David. Background check. Anybody know? <laughs> what the hell is going on in this chat room? I'm being stalked out here. Hold on. What was that thing? Oh, yeah, Halloween. I'm getting distracted, too. Okay, something about you being distracted. Don't be distracted. Halloween, costumes, candy. Okay, I'm also getting stealing. He said King David is King David. You know what, KD? I'm going to find out. I'm a, I'm a high priestess, baby. <laughs> as soon as I end this camera, I could just ask who's King David, and I will know who's King David. I'm Maji the Priestess. I don't know who's King David. Just saying. <laughs> Salute. Oh, shit. <laughs> she ain't scared of nothing. That's right. I am not scared of nothing. Yo, she said pull them cards out. Yo, let's find out who the hell is King David. Yo, you a Leo? Taurus? Oh, my God. This isn't... Nah, I'm going to do this shit off camera. This shit is interesting, though. Right, guys? Oh, I'm going to do that. I'm going to start getting on live and cutting you guys out. Yeah, I'm going to do that. Somebody obsessed with me, though. I know somebody watching me is obsessed with me. You can't front. Why are you so obsessed with me? <laughs> he called you out on camera, she's saying. Right? This dude that I said she ain't scared of nothing. Like... When did this shit get exciting in here? This shit is lit and I want to go to sleep. You guys is just waking me up. You guys are crazy. Listen, stay tuned to this Halloween thing. I keep telling you in your neighbor's video. If you don't get to be on my live tomorrow, all right, just watch the video. I will stream it either way. I will stream it. Just make sure you like the video. Um... Share the video to whoever you feel may need that, okay? The Halloween video may actually be a video that you need to share. All right? So, yeah. He ain't no reader. It can't be on Halloween. It's a warning before Halloween. It's a warning before Halloween. All these witches, warlocks, all they do is spells. This is literally their time to eat flesh. <laughs> Whoa, was I supposed to say that on thingy? Who's this King David? Oh, gosh. Is this... I can't even say your name out loud even if I wanted to. Is this this nigga? Yo, this dude that I got on here? <laughs> Somebody's stressing me here, you know. What the freak? Oh, shit, guys. This is an ex-lover. <laughs> King James, an ex-lover here. Something, because look what's coming up. Somebody's stressing me here. Heartbroken. Ooh, who's King David? <laughs> you got my number, y'all. number I got. I ain't got nobody's number. I got like three numbers and I put hands five. I got like five numbers in the shape. One is my cab driver. All right. The other one is my sister. All right. I got a, it's a couple numbers. But look at this, guys. It's somebody who liked me. All right. Somebody I broke up with. I don't know what the hell's up here. You is not no cancer. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> 
All right, somebody somebody walked away here. Anyways, this just got juicy. We're just fucking around here, though. Somebody said it was an ex at Lisa. <laughs> nah, nah, let's not disrespect the boy David, though. You know, anybody's welcome to watch. <laughs> I'm just laughing so much here. I can't believe this. What the hell happened to this chat tonight? Jesus. What is this? The page. The moon. Secrets, huh? Mysterious, huh? Secret admirers. Anyways. <laughs> he said, he said, you stay woke, Mabel. You can't sleep. Truth Seeker, thank you for your $4.99 donation, my love. I sleep like a baby, all right? And I still get my spiritual downloads, all right, love? Thank you, Truth Seeker. Am I seeing some flirtation going on over here? Is it just me? What's going on? <laughs> Look at this. Thank you so much, Truth Seeker, for your $4.99. Many blessings to you, love and light. And I will pray for your miracle, my love. Okay. Ooh, we got Netherlands. Oh, remember, she's the queen. You a page. I got I got my people protecting me here, boy. I got I got my peeps protecting me. They know the deal. They know my status. Hey. <laughs> You're just a page, boy. He said, I can't sleep. He bugging. I sleep like a baby. All right. Sometimes the visions do get intense, though. I got to wake up and write my dreams down in the middle. Yes, I am adding you to my prayers, love. Look, true secret. Okay. I'm adding you to my prayers. Okay. Before I'm going to bed, I'm praying for Nicole, too. Okay. Someone's birthday is on the 8th. Or something is happening on the 8th of next month. I'm also seeing you're manifesting something, somebody here. Thank you so much, Nicole, my love. You are from Netherlands. Thank you so much for your donation. I will also be praying for you, my love, okay? Let me get your last name. <coughs> I can't even pronounce your last name. I'm so sorry. All right. I have you down. So thank you for your donation. I will be. Okay. Whoa. We still in here? The live just refreshed. All right. Thank you so much, guys. I'm out of here truly, though. <laughs> I got to get out of here. Um, yeah, don't forget to, um, get you some bath salt, okay? Don't forget to get you some bath salt. So, remember that, okay? Good night, guys. I love you. Sending you love, light, clarity, protection. Here and now, guys, you're gonna all sleep amazing. Here, here. Take a deep breath whenever you feel anxious, okay? You got this. All right? I love you all. Thank you for your donations. I will definitely be praying. I mean, you're donating. You know what I mean? You're getting something from me back. But I feel like a lot of you guys already know I have my little book. And you still donate. So I know that you need a, play, a prayer, okay? So trust me. Just stay in the um, energy of receiving it now, right? You've already requested. Now just be open to receiving it. Nothing else to do, right? I got you. Just be open to receiving love, okay? Receiving love. Only love. Only light. Nothing else. Nothing else. Nothing less, I mean. Yeah. So anyways, I, I am getting out of here now. <laughs> Shit just got crazy. I'm out. Thank you so much, guys, for the laugh, the fun. It was dope. It was dope. All right? If you like to make any other donations, just do it so in my cash app. I will still add you to my book. Okay? Um, I love you guys so much. Thank you to each and every one of you. 
Thank you, Trondom. <laughs> you made me laugh a lot. Mingo, a lot of you. David, Lisa, all you guys. You guys, all of you, okay? <laughs> Ciao. Good night. Thank you, Sanja. Bye.